Okay, this is the second video, second part of the lesson software and its types. So we have finished up to operating system. Now we go to the utility programs. So it is of a system, it is type of system software. Now utility programs, the name itself suggests utility means useful. So these are useful pr programs. It is a system software. So what is its function to monitor, configure, analyze, and maintain a computer system. That means it will, this uh, program or software will uh, monitor your computer, analyze, and protect your computer from various uh, aspects. Like um, your computer may have unnecessary files, okay? Uh, your computer might be connected to internet and that time virus may attack, so it will protect from viruses. Your computer might have passwords, username, passwords, so it will protect the password. Okay, so for so for these uh, useful tasks, some utility programs are given, and those are uh, intend to protect the computer from external threats. Okay, when connected to the internet, also the computer will run smoothly. The, uh, it will uh, not uh, not become slow, run uh, properly, maintain the speed. It will uh, clean uh, the uh, utility programs will clean unnecessary files, uh, whatever they are in your computer. Okay, so that the system does not become slow down, does not slow down. Okay, as well as it will protect from viruses, etc. When you are connected to the internet. Okay, so these are utility programs. Next comes is language processor. So language processor is very important. Uh, as, as you all know that computer works with electricity, correct? Uh, now you're, uh, in your homes there are lights and fan which also works with electricity. Now how does your fan or lights work? When you switch it on, the fan runs. When you switch it off, the fan stops. So one, the on means one, off means zero so computer also works on on and off procedure okay that means one and zero on means one off means zero so one and zero so that means computer only understand this language one and zero and that is why it is called what a machine language this is called machine language language of one and zero only zero and one no other number no other letter of english okay only zero and one the computer understand so, but human beings, human beings write in what? Either English or any other language like Assamese, Bengali, Hindi, okay? But computer does not understand English or any other human language. It only understands 0 and 1. So, as the computer do not understand English, how it will, it is going to uh, give you the correct output? Or, or when you are typing an English letter uh, with the help of keyboard, how you are going to get it to understand that English uh, letter or uh, the sentence or the word. What the computer does, it converts the, your English language into 0 and 1. And then the computer understands. Okay, And who converts that English to 0 and 1? the language processor converts the English language to 0 and 1 so that the computer can understand. So it is a special type of program that converts the program written by the users in English into what? Machine language. Okay. It is nothing but a software with, for conversion purpose. So English to 0 and 1. Okay. Now there are some uh, language processor there are three language processor in all which are used in the computer compiler interpreter and assembler they work on the same principle that is converting english language into zero and one compiler interpreter as well as assembler now that zero and one are called low level language the machine language is called the low level language and the english language is called the high level language so whatever high level language you are writing in the computer converter is converted to machine language in both the compiler and the interpreter okay but there is one difference between the compiler and in, in interpreter that is compiler converts all the sentences together 
at the same time in one go that is into low level language but interpreter converts line by line one line at a time or one word at a time then it will convert the next word or next line like this step by step line by line but it converts their main purpose is to convert uh, English language to low level language that is language of 0 and 1 assembler also converts assembly language to low level language assembly language is also uh, is a type of uh, low level language but it also uh, contains some symbols like and symbol percentage comma semicolon together with some one or two English letters also but computer only understands 0 and 1 so what does it do it converts those symbols into 0 and 1 so to low level language the, in that way assembly language is slightly different from low level language you'll get to know in class 6 where assembly language is discussed elaborately so the main purpose is of assembler is to convert assembly language to low level language because it is converting assembly language that is why it is called assembler okay so this uh, completes uh, the system software part next we'll go to the application software part okay so this will uh, be discussed in the third video okay so watch for the third video also